So hello, my name is Sergio Mores and I'm here uh, creating this tutorial to Cows Group that I would like to thank you so much for this opportunity. Uh, this tutorial will consist in showing you how to set up your own uh, previews, uh, how to create quick previews and how to set up all the parameters for the final render. So here we are in the 3ds Max. Um, first of all I will show you the my basic and main lighting that I have here so now at this moment I will render and you will see that I only have a photometric light inside the Cubus house uh, so uh, for the beginning I will show you how to set up some of the basic parameters as the camera settings and uh, light settings um, I'm going to show you uh, my my day by day workflow basically so I always work with a dome light as you see um, dome light with a multiplier at one uh, the color the main color the default color so as you can see the parameters are really by default uh, the main trick here is the V array HERI minus 80 of horizontal rotation uh, the overall multiplier at one gamma at 0 0.8, 0 .8 uh, so this is the my main settings you just have to drag it to the texture map of the light so as the camera the camera is a steel cam with a focal length of 10 millimeters f number at 6.5 uh, the vignetting at 1 basic white balance uh, custom I've defined the color I wanted to 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 balance with my image and use the shutter speed at 200 and film speed ISO at 100 uh, as you see I've not changed so much of my camera settings now at the render setup uh, here's the resolution for preview uh, always enable the built-in frame buffer don't forget it uh, global switches I will use at this moment I will use a override material just to test my illumination uh, with adaptive DMC we real Lankos filter the adaptive DMC can be 4 to the preview color making, mapping exponential gamma 2.2 2. 2. sorry indirect illumination uh, with the ambient occlusion on at 0 0.8 and uh, for the preview I always use the light cache light cache mode uh, it's quick and it will give you a nice result to see how your project is going um, and the rest of the the settings you can let them normal don't enable the render render elements sorry so let's see how it goes uh, with the material override uh, let's see so don't forget to use a uh, low resolution because you all you only want to see how the illumination is going to affect your scene and the camera settings so as you can see it's the the illumination that I want uh, that I wanted to to recreate for this scene so everything's working fine at this moment so I will close and uh, change some of the settings for the final render but first I will will take off the override material just to see my materials are working fine with this illumination and camera settings too so the main trick here is to uh, work always with these kind of um, settings until you get the final result and uh, when you when you achieve the the desired final result then you will adjust the um, a different setup and the different settings to a better resolution and a better quality uh, don't forget that the the materials are truly important uh, for the final quality of the render too 
uh, as you see it's all it's all working fine here I have my materials defined as I wanted to be and uh, now and then I will show you how to adjust the final settings for the high resolution render so let's see uh, as you see it's all working fine okay let's close so let's go um, I will change my resolution for the final resolution to 400 400 yes 400 okay 400 by 200 100, uh, 200 and uh, 180 so in the V-Ray settings the main V-Ray settings uh, I will change the DMC much simpler to 8 max subdivisions color mapping will be the same I will change my GI engine for the radius map and I'll change it to custom and give it to give it 60 subdivisions so okay light cache we will increase it to from uh, to 100 to and uh, we'll click on pre filter 10 filter nearest okay so everything's fine here uh, I will change my noise, noise threshold to 0 0.006 uh, and change my minimal samples to 12 so it will give me a more smooth result don't forget the, to add the render elements these are the render elements I always use for my works so let's take a, a look and see if the render works fine so the render elements are very important for the post-production process because you can uh, always adjust some of the settings as a uh, reflection or refraction um, and so on uh, and you will have a more accurate uh, accurate uh, result at the end so let's see it's calculating the it's building the light cache I think yes so and now and then uh, now I am going to show you after this uh, the importance of the render elements here uh, because it uh, separates all the the parameters so it will give you a, a better control and more accurate as I said before and uh, and it's really important to have it all these parameters well adjust for the final render uh, don't forget that the high resolution render it takes a lot of difference so I will save I already saved my image channels but my render channels as you see so let's see some of them uh, as you see I have all of them saved I will open some just for you to see the diff, uh, the how good it is to have these elements saved and the, how it's important to render them too so the render RGB color this is the main image of the render as you see I have my materials all defined the lighting, the cameras, all good ok so then we have the whole global illumination that is the my main illumination as you see it looks good too ok whole lighting always important too so here we have the hot light and the reflection as you see the reflection it's really really important it makes a lot of difference too and it will give you a more as you see the refraction so this element only takes the refractional parts of the render that works good too okay shadow shadow total lighting it uh, it takes all the lightning of my image so the, of all lights render ID always important to make your selections and change some of the textures if 
it's if you want to and the z depth to give uh, depth of field uh, effects on your image all of these elements are really important for the post production so don't forget to take them always in a best resolution you can to take all the the details of the image it's really important so i would like to thank the vra and uh, to cows group for this opportunity hope you liked so thank you so much cheers